When the acrid smoke clears, nothing remains of the entity known as the Calculator, except burnt wires and broken valves. It is a decisive victory for humanity, for at the crucial point in the raging battle, the robots were stopped dead in their course of destruction. The warrior can only ponder on the lost opportunity that the destruction of such a technological marvel represents. History has shown that even the victors of battle have some regrets, but sometimes one must move forward. The Brotherhood is quick to establish Vault Zero as its main base of operations. Although much destruction was wrought here, it still represents a massive storehouse of knowledge and technology. The ancient structure becomes the central hub of operations, coordinating between outposts far and near, and reinforcing their supply lines and transport routes across the countryside, ironically mimicking the original purpose of their defeated enemy. Recruitment and education of the local tribal and village populations becomes the all-important mission of the depleted and wounded Brotherhood. But the education is not one-sided. After generations of surviving in the harshness of the wastelands, the indigenous people are in tune with the land. They have valuable lessons to teach those immersed solely in technology, lessons of nature and balance that the Brotherhood had previously neglected. Not all of the Wasteland's inhabitants are sharing the same noble purpose. Opportunistic raiders and bandits enjoy the fruits of a recovering war-torn Brotherhood. Patrols are scarce and in smaller numbers than the thieves remember encountering in the past as the Brotherhood focuses on consolidating its power base. Several frontier outposts are lost as the Brotherhood finds they are fighting a guerrilla war without the support of large numbers. But adversity and hardship are as familiar to the Brotherhood as discipline and knowledge, and they learn their lessons quickly. With a new power over this region comes a new responsibility. All plans for re-establishing contact with the West are postponed indefinitely. Recruitment begins anew, and the initiate ranks swell. All military efforts are then concentrated on uprooting all outlaw predators in the region, finally making it safe for the Brotherhood and its allies. In time, the Brotherhood once again rules the land. Resources are then allocated to expansion and development. Technology becomes more widespread, with irrigation systems established to make the nuclear-blasted land fertile. Humanity once again starts to prosper. The hero, the warrior of the Brotherhood, now a general, shares the burden and the satisfaction of overseeing civilization's development. The Brotherhood of Steel has come through the trials of this region and emerged scarred, but wiser. It will be decades before a reunion is possible between the old Brotherhood and the new Brotherhood regime. In that time, there are new alliances to be made, new battles to be fought, new victories to be had. But that is a tale for another day.